So when you sign up for this course, the first thing that you need is you need coaching. You're gonna get my weekly coaching session. And the second thing you're gonna get is you are going to get my 36 page PDF. You're also gonna get my swipe file. The fourth thing you're gonna get is you are going to get my selfie, which is an NFT in NFT format. So what do you think is required in order for a person to succeed when it comes to this? Right? Environment. What else? Accountability. Training. Mentorship. Attitude. Okay, that's a great one. What else? Hand-holding. Check-ins. Customization. A proven process. All great answers. And guess what? You're right. You see, the first differentiator between amateurs and noobs versus pros is amateurs will usually tell their audience in the form of statement. And if you're utilizing statements, that is when it's met with friction. When you're utilizing a statement saying, the next thing you need is fill in the blanks, that's when a fraction of your audience is going, no, I don't think that's what I need. You see, when it comes to creating an offer and upsell, a much better way is to phrase it in the form of a question instead so that your audience is thinking about it. So what does this mean? It means that if it's a live audience, if it's a webinar, if it's something that's interactive, you actually wait and you ask them. So what do you think is required in order to be successful when it comes to, when it comes to weight loss, when it comes to investing, when it comes to publishing a book, right? You wait for the answers, let them say it out Right? Oh, I need to be able to have the right resources. I need to have the right network. I need to be able to have the mindset. Whatever it is that they say, the entire list, what do you say? You say, you're right. Now, the difference, the first differentiator is now I'm not telling them or imposing my belief on them, but rather I'm asking them the questions and I'm agreeing with them. So now when I make an upsell, I am creating an upsell on offer purely based on what they told me. All I'm doing is I'm saying, you're right. And that's why we created fill in the blank names to help you with accountability. It is to help you with customization. It is to help you with checking in to making sure you have momentum and doing what you say you're going to do, right? That is lesson number one, ask, not tell. So some of you might be saying, so what if it wasn't live? What if it was a one way presentation, like a sales video? Well, it's the same thing. You think about it, it would be, rephrasing statements in the form of questions and asking your audience, but you don't wait for an answer because there's no audience. All you're saying is, so if this topic name was that easy, then why isn't everyone successful at doing this? What else do you think is needed? Maybe it's the environment. Maybe some people need coaching. Maybe some people need feedback. Some people need customization. Some people need the right resources. Wouldn't you agree? And that's why we created fill in the blanks, right? So. Ask so that it engages your audience to get them to think. If it's live, let them tell you and you're agreeing with them rather than imposing your belief on them. So if you act now, it's gonna be buy one, get one free. It's a limited time offer and offer ends tonight. But only if you act now. And if you do so, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be taking 52% off and this is only limited to the first seven people. So the first seven people will take action right now and if you stand up and you go to the back of the room, so based on the feedback that we have seen today, we'll notice that the number one reason most people struggle when it comes to weight loss is because of either lack of discipline, no time to work out, as well as just yo-yoing back to old eating habits whenever they start something new. Now, we understand how that feels. And for that very reason, this is why we created this offer. The second differentiator when it comes to making any offer or upsell is basically most people that's just starting out will utilize fancy terminology for urgency and scarcity to show people why they need to take action now and that's when it feels like it's a hard sell. But the way to think about this is the same way how a doctor would prescribe you medicine or drugs. And in most cases, when a doctor does that, when you, when you go see a doctor, what does a doctor do, right? They give you a bag of medicine 
And most of the time, people will just say, okay, right? That's the, that's the response. Why? It is because the doctor is prescribing you a solution to the problem. They're diagnosing the problem. They're listening to what it is that the patient is saying by taking out the stethoscope, listening, right? By making the patient go, ah, right? And based on their findings, they're prescribing a solution. So when it comes to making an offer, when it comes to making an upsell, the next thing you wanna do is not to utilize hard sell, but rather come from the angle of your audience's problems, struggles, pains, frustrations, listen to what they're saying, understand what it is that they're going through, and come from the angle so that your upsell and your offer is the solution to the problem and you're prescribing them that solution and not hard sell. So when it comes to weight loss, it's really important to make sure that you are disciplined and you are eating right each day. You must be able to have that level of confidence and to be able to be motivated and inspired to also get that exercise in because if you are able to do that, you would be able to see massive results in a really short time. How many of you here have experienced this before? Where you went home, you're really tired, and right now you're faced with two options. You've got the salad, then on the right-hand side is the double cheeseburger. And you literally, without even thinking, you destroyed the double cheeseburger in under one minute. Raise your hand if that's ever happened to you before. Guess what? I've been there. I know how it feels like to be able to think about giving up your favorite foods. You see, the next differentiator between somebody that's new and somebody that's seasoned is the difference between talking at your audience versus having a conversation with. Now, talking at your audience is kind of like how a parent talks to kids, which is, I'm the parent, especially in the Asian upbringing, right? I'm the parent, you don't listen to me, right? There's gonna be consequences, right? Talking at the kid. Same thing here as like in school, right? I'm the teacher, I'm the expert, you listen to me. It's a one-way conversation. So in most cases, especially you think about it, it's kind of like college and university, right? The professor's up there, it's a one-way conversation. And normally what happens? Well, in most cases, if you're like a student like me, you fall asleep. However, having a conversation with is when you involve the audience. You get them to type in, you comment. You are able to engage with them, acknowledge their response. And if it's not a live audience, if it's not a training, a webinar, or in-person event, then at the very least, you could rephrase some statements into the form of questions, very similar to the previous tip, where rather than saying, you need to be eating right, right, statement from it, just turn that very simple statement to, how many of you would agree that sometimes it's tough to eat right, right? What, what, what the questions do? Questions hook the mind. It keeps the audiences engaged, so even if it was a one-way conversation, the simple thing of turning statements to questions can make a big difference. So don't talk at your audience, have a conversation with your audience. And before I talk to you what number four newbie mistake is, being a newbie YouTuber myself, if you're enjoying this video so far, do smash the like button and subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying this video and if you wanna be able to see more videos just like this one. But let's get on with it. So basically today, you have seven different options to work together with us. We have the bronze level, we have the silver level, there's also the gold level and the diamond as well as the platinum level. And depending on your unique specifications, uh, there are all these different levels. And some of you might be asking, you know, so what are the difference between all these different levels? Well, number one, it's, it's, it's the price point. When you begin this process of working with us, the first thing that's gonna happen is we're gonna begin with that onboarding call to really understand your unique requirements and specifications, to really understand what type of investor you are as well as your risk tolerance. Now, once we understand that, that is when we're gonna create a customized battle plan to really begin this journey of working together with you to accelerate to help you get faster results. You see, the next differentiator between a newbie and a pro is somebody that's really good at what they do is able to turn that offer that could have nine different components or three different things or 15 different things into one experience. And the better you can do this, the better your conversion will be. So rather than having nine different things in your component, which is what most newbie marketers would do, think about how can you link 
all items together so that it feels like a journey, feels like an experience that is all tied together so that you can see where the destination is going to be. So what most marketers try to do is they've got like 17 different bonuses, right? And then they create this huge stack of, you know, bonus number one, two, three, four, five. And this is what I call diarrhea bonuses, which is bonuses that just in front of your face, but it's not a bonus that you want because you, that you don't actually value. What you want instead is to take all those items and then make it into one full experience so that your audience can see how they work synergistically with each other. And by the way, if you wanna be able to check out my diarrhea bonuses, be sure to check out the link in the description box below. If you truly wanna get good in marketing, sales, and pretty much scaling your income online. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.